Over the, the previous parliamentary session, Greens made a big impact as an opposition party, showing that you do actually make more of a difference for people uh, if, you, if political parties try to seek the common ground uh, and try to use opposition in a constructive way. Opposition shouldn't just be about opportunistically shouting down everything that's happening, but putting forward good, positive, workable ideas of your own to make people's lives better in Scotland. That's what the Greens did. Now, if we can do it in a longer term way with a formal cooperation agreement, I think we have a responsibility to the people who voted Green in record numbers in this election, who put more Green MSPs into Parliament than ever before. We have a responsibility to do whatever we can to achieve the manifesto commitments that we stood on. Uh, it will be for our party members to decide whether uh, an agreement, if we can reach one with the government, actually gets put into practice uh, because it, it will be, uh, as everything else is, a democratic decision of our party in the end. Uh, I obviously can't give you a, a kind of blow-by-blow blow account of, uh, of where the negotiations have got to, uh, but I do hope that you don't have very long to wait. Believe me, I've got party members as well who want to read this, they want to see the detail, and I hope when they do, they'll be excited about what's in it, but also taking seriously uh, the questions about how we maintain a distinctive green voice. We have a responsibility to do that, as well as to make an immediate impact for people in Scotland in issues like the climate emergency, uh, you know, transforming and decarbonising people's heating, changing the way we move about and investing in jobs for the future.